So one thing that's super helpful clinically, um, and especially for those of you who are taking step two, if you get a CMP on a patient and someone's total protein is like 7.5 and their mm -hmm. albumin is like 2.8, if there's a huge gap in how much protein they have in their blood and how much albumin, which should be our biggest protein, you have to explain it. So why do they have so much protein in their blood that's not explained by their albumin? Multiple myeloma is a great condition. So then you would actually do an SPEP, a serum protein electrophoresis. And what that does is it measures the size of the proteins that you're looking for. In something like HIV, which can elevate the number of immunoglobulins you have, they're going to be all different size because it's normal immune function. If it's multiple myeloma, there is one line of cells that's making way too many immunoglobulins. There's going to be a solitary spike. There's going to be one size thing that's dominating. That's the M spike that you'll hear about. My next question would be, because I'm making so many immunoglobulins with multiple myeloma, my immune system is amazing, right? Thoughts? How's my immune system? Do I have a super immune system when I have multiple myeloma? Wrong. Wrong. Yeah. I know if I ask it like that, you probably assume that I'm, it's a leading question. So these are dysfunctional immunoglobulins. So multiple myeloma is an immunocompromising condition.